Former President Kufour says the bane of the country's economic development efforts is leadership deficit and says raising transformational leaders is key to driving the nation's development. Former President Kufour made this observation when he launched another flagship program, Kufour Young Entrepreneurship Network, with a mission to empower, mentor and increase the capacity of young entrepreneurs to take the commanding height of the economy. Fifteen young entrepreneurs have so far been selected as pioneers of the project. One of the key deficits in our development efforts is leadership. Leadership in all spheres of life, but most importantly, in governance and business. We require transformational leaders to successfully develop our society. That is why, as soon as I retired as president of Ghana, I founded the foundation to advance my vision for preparing young people for leadership. I'm indeed happy that the Kufour Young Entrepreneurs Network has been formed to help prepare the future leaders of industry in Ghana and hopefully Africa at large. Bringing young entrepreneurs together for grooming is to affirm the necessity to strengthen the leadership of the private sector. I'm impressed with the array of skills and talents displayed by this first crop of the Kufo Entrepreneurs Network. Going through the brochure, I find that these young entrepreneurs show great promise with planned empowerment programs, including mentoring, coaching, and access to funding, they should emerge, soon emerge, as true leaders of industry in the not too distant future. Now to you, our pioneering group of young entrepreneurs. I say that the, young, the foundation is going to work closely with you to ensure that this dream becomes a reality. The dream to have in this country a new generation of business leaders who adhere to good corporate gov governance and put the interests of the nation first. This dream will carry you into the global market. The foundation will offer you opportunities to enhance your organizational development best business practices, access to finance, and respect for the legal environment. The recent crisis in the financial sector of our country is reportedly due to some malpractices, non-adherence to rules, and bad leadership practices. This should not be repeated to draw the economy of our nation back.